They've been broken in South Carolina on the eve of that uh, state's primary contest. Uh, meanwhile, we return back here in Indianapolis where we may be looking at some snow. Yeah, hard to believe because it's been so nice lately. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown is joining us now. A little weekend snow for us, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Um, just a little bit, yeah. not more than that. Um, this forecast, um, keeping everyone on their toes, right? Mm -hmm. One day it's warm, it's incredibly warm. The next day it's cold and it's snowing. Up and down, mm -hmm. up, up and down. And a lot more of that to come. That's yeah. not going to change that up and down pattern. Um, I had someone ask me yesterday, we're like, okay, spring is here, right? We, yeah. we settled in. It's going to snow Saturday, yeah. so I have to say that. <laughs> um, all right, so um, spring is not here yet. Technically, we still have about two and a half weeks or so until spring arrives. As we look at the radar here, you'll notice to the north around Milwaukee, some snow showers beginning to move in there. That system will move down. It's going to bring some snow our way. And as that snow develops, um, scattered snow showers initially, but I do think it could put down around an inch for some locations. So let's kind of dive into what that means for you. First, let's talk about the hurdle this snow must that must uh, the snow must overcome and that's the warm air that we have in play winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour right now we look outside we have a mix of sun and clouds it feels fantastic at the moment today was another day that's warmer than expected we like that we love that 42 for South Bend right now Indianapolis at 50 degrees but that cloud cover that you see in the distance that's a sign that moisture is coming back to us and we're starting to see at 53 in Bloomington Hour by hour we go. Let's just dive right in to tracking the snow. All right, so here we go at around 8.30 tonight. This system approaches the state line, bringing uh, snow to Chicago, rain for areas just south of that. As far as it moving into the state, that happens at around 9.30, 10 o'clock. You can see that it moves in as snow for areas north where it's cold enough and rain for areas around Lafayette, um, even the possibility of a spot shower into Indy where we're warmer. How long does it take for the warmer air to become cold enough for snow to arrive. Well, this model showing us that um, midnight is not uh, good enough for Indy, but seeing snow showers from South Bend over into Fort Wayne, a bit of a mix around Kokomo, colder air sinks in a little bit more. Numbers still at 40 uh, at around 2 a.m. That's not until around 3, 4 a.m. that some scattered snow showers will develop for us here in Indy and maybe some areas south of Interstate 70 here as we see a mix developing for Columbus. The system stays mainly east. As a result, I'm expecting the highest snowfall totals right in this little area, basically from Fort Wayne to Kokomo over into Muncie to Richmond. That's where we'll see the highest total and that high total, I think, around an inch. Around an inch for Muncie into Fort Wayne there, Indy. Not much. We won't add much to the snowfall totals here. Overnight tonight, numbers will fall. Colder air will mix in, so we will have air cold enough, I think, by sunrise tomorrow. Don't cancel your plans on Saturday. It's going to be a chilly day, but chilly sunshine. Any precipitation ends by the time we get to around 7, 8 a.m. will bring the sunshine your way, which is good news. And as we move forward, we start the conversation about record-breaking temperatures. We're going to see near-record numbers on Monday and Tuesday. By Wednesday, a change comes our way as we track the chance of strong to severe storms on Tuesday night into Wednesday. Hensley Legal Group, 8 day forecast. The temperature trend warms to the upper 60s near 70s and falls to the 50s by the weekend, which is cooler but still above normal by this time for this time of year.